heading to Noosa Chenigan today. So if you have run out of things to do in Noosa Lumbongan, then this video is for you. That's it? <laughs> the iconic Yellow Bridge, also known as the Bridge of Love, Connecting the two islands, Noosa Limbongan and Noosa Chenigan, is something you definitely cannot miss. However, tragedy struck in October 2016 as the bridge sadly collapsed. Eight people died from the collapse and many were injured, but rest assured it's been repaired. Once we crossed the Yellow Bridge, we took an instant ride to our first stop, which was the Sea Breeze Cafe. When you arrive, you're presented with a quirky little entrance and really friendly staff. You can then decide whether you want to go sit by the pool in the downstairs area or in the lounge spots, or you can head upstairs to the balcony area to enjoy the view. As you've purchased some food and drinks, you're more than welcome to use a swimming pool, or you can head further down and use the hammocks and the swings to chill out on. So when you've been to Seabreeze and you've had your iced latte, you've had your drink, you've had your beverage, you've had your little swim, you had your drink, you've had your bed fridge, you've had your ice latte, <laughs> you've had all three drinks. <laughs> when you've been to Seabreeze and you've chilled out a bit and you fancy something with a little bit of a better view, then I'd highly recommend you come to this place here. It is called the Twilight Hut Bar and Restaurant. I will show you around now. Once you've finished up at one of these two places or both, it's time to hop on the bike and let's go find some beaches. Just arrived at Secret Point Beach. It's quite a small beach. You've got a really nice little cove and then you've got a little bit over there as well. But yeah, it looks cute, busy because it's a small beach. And then you've got just at the top some cafe and restaurants as well where you can get some food and some drink. We have been to so many beaches in Bali so far <laughs> and there's just nothing on Freedom Beach in Thailand, Phuket yet. No. No, none of them have actually made me want to get in. And then there was just so many like rocks and coral again yeah. and I just don't want to keep cutting up my toes. No, what are you doing to me, Bali? We see all this on social media. What are you doing to us? We've travelled 17 hours to see you. Do you know what I mean? What are you playing at, mate? Unbelievable. <laughs> That was the Kilf Club and that was Blue Lagoon. If you want to spend an extortionate amount of money, go there, because that was ridiculous. 80,000 for two cans of Coke. And we literally just sat on the side, enjoyed the view. Um, and it is beautiful, like that water needs absolutely no filter. It's no, stunning. it is the bluest water I've seen. It's Blue Lagoon. That is Blue Lagoon. <laughs> Here we are in the wilderness looking for the Blue Lagoon. So what we do is we've got to, got to stick to the paths, right? Hopefully no, no snakes bite my little toes. Oh, you see that over there? There looks like an opening. My goodness, you can't believe what you're about to see. Your eyes are... It's changing a lot, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of a, I cannot believe what I'm about to witness. Right, Lauren, come over here, Paul. Come over here and find that, oh my God. That's great, that is, look at that, that's blue. That's very blue.
Once we had been at Blue Lagoon, we made our way to Secret Beach. However, that's what we thought we were doing. It did not quite work out like that. Maps Me ended up taking us down some road that we physically couldn't drive down anymore. What we learned later on when we drove back to the little restaurant on the corner was that the hotel wasn't letting anyone into Secret Beach. So we actually had a recommendation to go to a viewpoint. And what a viewpoint it was. Oh, you're going to make it harder because you weigh more. Oh my God, my shorts are very, oh my goodness, there's a lot of leg there. Yeah. Right, so you're going to stand the bike up straight. I can't touch the foot. Ah. Yeah, stand the bike up straight. Oh. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right, kick that back. Oh my God, what is this? Come on. Super brake. Okay. What's the accelerate? This. So yeah. when you twist this, that's your accelerate. You only want to do it a little bit. Right, we're on. Okay, now. So okay. just gently do the accelerator. So gently do the accelerator and, and let go of the brake. Ready? I'm just going to sit up here. A little bit more speed. Press the upside down, babe. Oh, God. Okay. Right, let's try flat a bit. Okay, so I'm now. No, you, you, you've got to really try and balance it, babe. I am, but you're all okay. heavy. Okay. Okay, you ready? That's it. Just get, slow down, slow down. That's it, just, just lightly, lightly twist. Lightly twist. You don't want to die today. No, this is it. We're going back now. I like this bit. Why yeah, can't I sit fun. in the you front? You want to sit in the front more often? Yeah. Yeah, you already like sitting there. <laughs> I like yeah. it in the front. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> Session over. Lauren's never getting on a bike in her life. Come on. Um, Off you get. I think I did well. You, I'm accelerated. Is that what you class us doing well? So, bike. I just had my first a bike lesson. Oh, no spiderwebs. Um, I just had my first bike lesson and safe to say I don't think I'll ever be riding a bike so I will just sit comfortably on the back and let Reese do all the hard work. Don't fancy driving us off a cliff today. But Lisa tried. This is all part of the experience, right? So after that incredible cliff viewpoint and after watching Laura try to ride a bike, We've just pulled into the Dunkey Bendega Resto restaurant. It's literally just up the road. You drive past it as you go to that viewpoint. It's such a nice setting and the food is so cheap as well. So I'd highly, highly recommend you come in here. But yeah, I've just ordered the Mahi Mahi and Lauren has ordered the seafood pasta. So we'll show you guys what that looks like. Just came over to my feet, and I was like, "What is that? Could you have a little flinch?" So we've just finished off at that place. Oh, the food was amazing. It, it was just amazing, to be honest. It's, it's the it's the barley that I think me and Lauren have been looking for since we've been here the food was great it wasn't expensive the staff were so welcoming they just made you really feel like you're at home we just made our way to secret beach don't do what we've just done and drive down this uh park back at the top um but yeah we're just making our way now gonna have a bit of a stroll down and see what secret beach is like good job we didn't try and bring the motorbike down this way no could you imagine <laughs> Straight away, just from looking at it up here, I don't know if there's actually any sand around the corner. Hopefully there is, but it just looks like a bunch of rocks. There's a little bit, a little bit of sand. It's not one you're going to be going in the water in anyway. When will we not. find that beach? When will we find a beach in Bali that we actually can just run into and not worry about injuring ourselves? About cutting our feet yeah. up. <laughs> We will find one. We're here for long enough. 
but we're giving it a good old go at trying to find it. Oh! Oh! Just, just come here. All right, come on. Come on, Lauren. Honestly, don't go anywhere. I'm okay. <laughs> You can see why it's called Secret Beach is obviously there's no one here, but then is there a reason why no one's here? Yeah, yeah, yeah there is. Um, it's not great. It's it's not great at all actually, to be honest. Come down here if you want to see it in person, but if you do want to take my word for it, don't bother. This sand, it's softer. Look. Ah. Okay. Yeah. If you want. Like gritty stuff. A, a metre square <laughs> worth of soft sand well, no, comes to Secret not. Beach. It's got some stones in it. Oh, okay. well, there you go then. Don't come here. Don't, don't bother. No. Save I, your fuel. Because it is, yeah. No, I wouldn't. Okay. So Lauren is standing on a rock, which means <laughs> we are calling it an end to this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And if you do enjoy these videos and you want to keep up to date with everything that we are doing, then hit that subscribe button and we will catch you in the next one. <laughs> Join us next time where myself and Lauren share our five days in Nusa Lembongan, where we try and find the best beaches, best viewpoints and sunsets. We go on a snorkeling trip and we try and attempt to canoe through the mangrove forest. But in typical Lauren and Reese fashion, it did not quite go as planned. This is not going well, is it? <laughs> Been stitched up. We really hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you guys next time. But for now, we out.